I'm Libby and I'm in sixth grade. My problem was what soft material collects the most bacteria. My hypothesis was the soft materials, bamboo, cotton, polyester, wool, and silk are tested to see which one collects the most bacteria. Then the cotton material will collect the most bacteria because due to my research, it is an absorbent fabric. I first wore um, one material of sock for one school day. And then after that, I immediately put them in a Ziploc bag and I took them home. And once I got home, I swabbed them with a Q-tip and then I swabbed the Petri dishes and then I let them sit for four days and then I counted the colonies with this where I put it over and I counted 22 of the boxes and then I multiply it by seven which equals how many um, boxes were in this the graph where that the Petri dish covered and then I that would give me an average. Right here it shows like me counting each individual one. Cotton collected the most, which was my hypothesis. And um, and wool collected the least, so now I know wool is the best kind of sock to wear. I love socks and <laughs> this is Starry Night. Hello and welcome to my project. I have a project called Excellent Eggs. No pun. There was a pun intended on that one. Um, the problem of this experiment was what chicken food has the most protein in it and does that affect the weight of the eggs that the chickens lay? And our hypothesis for the experiment was if the chickens eat a protein supplement, then will it affect the egg's weight because the chickens will have more protein in their bodies. We fed the chickens a no protein and protein supplement. It showed that the protein supplement had an effect on the eggs. We used the regular feed and uh, then we added yogurt and mealworms and that had an effect on the mass of the egg. So you have chickens in your backyard? We do. How many chickens do you have? Ten. Ten chickens. I enjoyed this experiment and I would want someone else to do it sometime. Hi, I'm Hayden in sixth grade and my project is about sunshades. A homemade sunshade would be better than a store-bought sunshade. And it, the homemade one did better because it was thicker and also it reflected more. I made it out of cardboard, aluminum foil, and fabric. It's very adhesive. The, the homemade one did a lot better. While it was at 89 degrees, it was at 100. The store bought was at 143 degrees. And um, the way that I the way that I put it measured the temperature was I used a laser thermometer, and then I checked every five minutes for an hour. Windshields only block up to 75 percent of infrared rays. So that's why they're faded dashboards. If you have a black car, it might turn gray after a couple of months or years.